Welcome back. We're uh, still admiring some of the cameras that we have here from Dominico's to Selena's cam. Toro cam, though, you can't see nothing. Uh, it's the big old cloud of cloud. It's basically what it is. Yeah, we're not going to show that to you, I don't think. Yeah. Don't think so. But either way, here's a, another live look from Dominico's. Looking off towards Seaside, the glittering city on the hill. Not the metaphor, the real thing going on over there. Well, maybe it is the metaphor, too. It depends on uh, what you're into. Uh, but certainly an interesting night out there as far as you're looking at me quizzically. Well, it's a good nickname for Independence Day, the glittering city on the, the hill. The glittering city on the hill. Yeah. There's just a lot of connotation to that. Uh, you know, you look it up on the internet, I guess, if you want. <laughs> Here's some high temperatures <laughs> from today. Bradley crept back up into triple digit territory. It was cooler yesterday, back to 100 degrees today. Hollister, you were cooler than yesterday by a few degrees, got you down to 79. Most cities around the Bay were about where you were yesterday. Salinas, 69. Watsonville, 67. And mid-60s in Santa Cruz and Monterey. Even though we had more sunshine on the Bay today, which was actually a surprise to me. I thought we'd be pretty thickly clouded in besides maybe just a little slice around Santa Cruz and a little slice around Monterey. We actually had a pretty good gap on the north side of the Bay today and actually on the south side as well. Um, but the temperatures really weren't any different from when we were cloudier the day before. That is the marine layer in action because it is just a cool, dense air mass, and even with some sunshine, it doesn't always warm us up all that much. At the moment, across the states, we're looking at certainly some warm weather. It's still a generally warm environment, but near the coast, obviously much cooler. Uh, you can see only 50 degrees up in Eureka right now. In Central Valley, temperatures in the 80s, and down south, we have... Well, needles, close to 100. It's the desert after all. But uh, as far as our weather pattern is concerned, much of the state still looking at fairly calm conditions. We have the marine layer on the coast, but not much else going on as high pressure continues to dominate our weather, mostly off to our south right now. Most activity, as far as nature's fireworks are concerned, are up into the Rockies, been thunderstorms, canceling firework shows on the front range of the Rockies. According to my wife's family, they had their... Um, Fireworks show canceled uh, in northern Colorado today. But uh, farther to the north, very dry conditions across the Pacific Northwest. A lot of fire concerns there because it has been dry in, in Oregon and Washington all winter long as opposed to us getting the rain. We got the rain, they didn't. So fireworks have been causing fires already across the Pacific Northwest tonight. People on edge because of that. Now, moving forward, we are going to kind of stay sandwiched in between two weather patterns. Big strong ridge to the south, weak troughing off to the north. Here we are, Salinas, you can see it on the map here. Notice we're just kind of in between these two features. I'm just kind of keep going through it. We're kind of in between. They try to fight back against each other, which aren't really going to have too many or won't really have major impacts on our forecast. Really, all the way through the weekend, weather is going to be kind of stabilized. Looks like we might see the ridge try to win out a little bit out of the weekend, so I have warmed our inland temperatures Monday and Tuesday, and maybe a little bit on the coast as well, but really looking pretty flat for the next couple of days. So let's take a look at tomorrow's forecast, and then you can just mentally think that tomorrow will be just like Thursday and Friday. This is an imaginary calendar. And Saturday probably doesn't go in this direction in your brain. Sunday... Saturday, Friday, Thursday, probably not, but that's what imaginations are for. And I know since we're all awake right now because of the loud things going on outside, uh, we probably don't want to use our imagination, so you just have to take my word for it. Here's a look at what you'll wake up to tomorrow morning. Low clouds, probably a little bit of fog in the valleys and in the coastal hills. We had some fog this morning up on Highway 17 and some reports on 152 over Pacheco Pass. Those locations are likely to see some fog again tomorrow morning. A little bit of drizzle possible on the east side of the bay. Maybe you'll put out any fires started by all those fireworks going off. Uh, we'll go through the day tomorrow. I do think we will have a little more cloud cover on the bay tomorrow than we did today. It's been a rough forecasting season. You know, the first couple of weeks of our marine layer stuff, I was having a little struggle with the forecast, and then we really got it dialed in. We're doing really well. And then today, I was a little disappointed in how things played out. But tomorrow, I do think we'll be a little bit more on the cloudy side around the bay. Marine layer should just deepen a little bit enough that it will kind of hold onto those clouds. Beyond that, clouds will thicken back up tomorrow night. Wash, rinse, reuse, recycle, all of those things that it says on those packages and the weather that means that the weather stays the same for the rest of the week 66 santa cruz tomorrow mid 60s also in capitola we'll find some 70s in santa cruz mountain valleys not as hot in boulder creek only 76 tomorrow we've been in the 80s 90s and even close to triple digits over the last several days so that is a cool down east shore of the bay low to mid 60s salinas right around 67 
A little warmer in our northern valleys, 80s, but uh, Hollister, you're going to be in the 70s tomorrow. A couple of degrees cooler than today's high of 79. Monterey Peninsula, low to mid 60s, so it'll be a touch cooler, I think, in Monterey tomorrow with the potential increase in those clouds. And then farther south, away from the coast, we'll see some 80s and 90s, but near the coast, 70s and and Big Sur, only 67 tomorrow once again. Looking at that seven day forecast on the coast, as I mentioned, not a lot of change over the next five days. The only notable difference I think is that by around Friday into Saturday, we'll see more northwesterly winds. The next couple days will be light and out of the west. Pick up a little bit Friday and Saturday out of the northwest, which will probably clear out Santa Cruz, but make Monterey a little more cloudy and cool. So Santa Cruz warms up a little bit Friday, Saturday. Monterey cools down. That's what I'm seeing right now. Looks like we'll all warm up a little bit out of the weekend. Inland areas also pretty stable for the next four days or so. We'll have morning low clouds and fog, but afternoons should be pure sunshine for all inland areas uh, really into the weekend. Winds will pick up a little bit, as I mentioned, into the weekend. And then out of the weekend, it looks like we are going to warm up if that ridge does indeed build in it. We'll watch that for you. Victor? Thanks so much, Dan.